Hey guys, in this video, we will talk about hyperrealism, which is one of the UI design trends in 2024. And by following the trend, we will design this landing page hero section. Let's dive straight in. Hyperrealism is a UX UI trend where we make digital stuff look super real. By using fancy tech like photorealistic rendering and 3D models, we give users the feeling they are using the actual objects. The goal here is to create immersive and engaging user experiences. This is Pixel, another great design tool for UI UX designers which we will be using for today's design work. So create a new design file. Okay, the interface is almost similar to other design tools, so no need to explain it. Select the frame tool. On the right, there are some presets for different devices. Under the web page, I will choose 1280 by 800. The first thing is to set the grid layout for the boundaries. Column layout. I will set the quantity to 1. We'll keep the margin to 60 pixels. And change the color to light blue. I will turn off the grid for now. So the landing page is for the scooters. I have downloaded these images from this website. I will put the link in the description if you need these images. So I will drag or just copy and paste these images in the canvas by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V. We will reduce the size a bit and we'll place it here. Now I want to set the background color, so I will select the frame and by using the eyedropper tool, I will give the same color from the scooter and need to adjust a bit. This is the hero image and on the left we will write our headline, subheading and city etc. So we will turn on the grid and select the text tool and we'll write some random words like ride into adventure. I will change the font to Exop. It's like a futuristic font. The size should be 100 pixels. We will place it here. I think we need to give it some line height. One more thing. I will apply a stroke and unfill it. The stroke size should be 3 pixels and inside. Perfect. Here we will write about the scooter model Plattron one plus S sixty five. We'll change the font to outfit for the body text. The size should be thirty pixels, and we'll place it right here. Now under the headline we will write the scooter price. Let's say three hundred ninety nine dollar. It will be semi bold and 50 pixels. We'll place it here. Now, before the CTA button, I would like to make a futuristic style in this hero section. So, I will select the pin tool and will draw something random. If you hold the shift key, it will only draw lines in some specific directions. So, let me draw something here like this connect it to this end. I will increase the stroke size to 3 pixels. Now we will apply some roundness about 25. I will change this corner to 20. Ok, let me edit it a little. Alright, so this is outside the frame. I will drag it to the frame layer and I will turn off the grid to see the colors. Then I will make it fill and I will make it the same color as the background but a little bit light. Drag it to the bottom. Now you can see it gives us a nice look. Now we will make a CDA button here. So again, we will select the pin tool and we'll draw something similar to the style. 
I will make it fill and will apply some roundness about at pixels. Now I will quickly adjust the size and position of the button. Now I will give the same color as the scooter light so that we will keep the design theme consistent. But it will be a little lighter. And we'll remove the outline. Now we will write text inside the CTA. By now, outfit, semi bold, and 30 pixels. I think bold will align the text in the middle of the button. Now I think we need to make a light shadow of the bike here below. So select the old tool and draw something like this. Color should be the same as the background. We'll apply an effect of Gaussian blur and we'll increase the value to about 40. I'll bring the image forward by pressing Ctrl Shift right square bracket. Now here I want to make a placeholder for different scooter parts images. So I will select the pen tool and will draw here something similar to the style. Like this. And we will connect it with this anchor point. I will make it fill and will remove the stroke. Then I will apply some roundness to the corners. Now let me turn on the grid to see the boundaries because I want to make a small next button for different images. So I will select the rectangle tool and will draw a small one like this. We will align it with the grid. I will make this button with the same style. Also need some roundness. I will create a copy and will place it on the left too and will reflect it vertically then horizontally. Now we need an arrow icon. So I will select the rectangle tool and will draw a small one. Apply stroke, unfill and black. I will delete one of its anchor points and will rotate it. Will be small like this. We'll place it in the middle of the button. The color should be white. Two pixels and these both buttons will be the same color as CTA. Similarly, I will place the arrow in this button too. Okay, now we will place the image of one of its parts. Just copy and paste inside the frame. I will reduce the size and will make it fit to the placeholder. Like this, we'll bring it to the front. I think we need to reduce the size of it a little more. Okay, perfect. More images and make a slider. You can do that it to give it some prototype. But I'm not going to give it a prototype in this video. Now here the image is out of the placeholder. So we will create a copy of the placeholder by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Right click and create mask. Create mask. Now we will create the second option for the user if someone wants to see each part closer. So for that we will create plus icon over each part. Select the old tool and create a small circle here like this. Unfill and stroke 2 pixel. And the color should be that orange. Now we need a plus icon. Select the line tool and make a small line 2 pixels and that orange. Create a copy and rotate and group by pressing Ctrl G. Now we will place the icon in other parts too. Okay, I think these buttons are too small and will be hard to click for the users. So I will increase the size a bit. 
now i will copy and place it there for the second button too all right now we will design our navigation bar so simply we will write a dummy logo name like writer we'll make a little change in the spell the font will be exo need some spacing now we will make the hamburger menu so select the line tool and draw a line like this three pixels create another copy of it by dragging and holding the shift and alt key this one will be a little smaller group it together and increase the spacing a little here i will write the menu text we'll change the font to outfit medium and uppercase and remove the spacing align these navigation elements let's turn off the grid to see it clearly now in the end i want to create a button for scroll down so i will write here scroll down and rotate it like this it should be in uppercase and the size should be 20 pixels let's turn on the grid to see the boundaries now i want to create a line with the same style like this the stroke size is 3 pixel and we'll apply a round circle on the lower end now i will apply some roundness on corners now turn off the grid so you can see we have designed this nice hero section for a real product in a futuristic style so this was about hyperrealism. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next video.